What is genetic genealogy? Have you ever been curious about your ancestors and where they came from? It's normal to think about where we came from biologically. Many of us have probably done so more than once in our lives. Hey guys, how you doing today? Before we proceed with this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly click on the notification bell to get updates on our exciting content. Today's video will discuss what genetic genealogy really is. Some lucky families have a lot of information written down about their ancestors. In some cases, like with royal and noble families worldwide, there are extensive archives with a lot of information about each family member's life. This makes it easy to determine who is related to whom and where everyone comes from. Just try to picture the Queen of England's family tree. Most of us don't have access to detailed information about our ancestors, which is a shame. You couldn't just take a DNA test to find out your exact ancestry and race for most recorded history. Going through historical records and archives was a time-consuming process that not everyone had access to. Modern genomics means that you can now take a swab sample at home and wait a few weeks to find out who your ancestors were. Let's talk about genetic genealogy, how it works, and what you can learn. What exactly is genetic genealogy? Genetic genealogy is a branch of genealogy and family history that uses both traditional genealogy methods and genealogical DNA tests to find out how people are related. When genetic testing first became available for sale, it was so expensive that most people couldn't afford it. In recent years, genetic testing has become much more affordable. In fact, you can now have your whole genome sequenced for just a few hundred dollars. So, genealogical research has changed to take into account the results of genetic tests. This has made genealogy much more specific and accurate. DNA testing makes it possible for almost anyone to find a treasure trove of valuable and exciting genealogical information. However, some people might find it especially interesting and helpful. Adoptees and other people who have lost touch with their biological families can use these tests to find out who their birth parents were and learn more about their ethnicity and natural origins. DNA testing can also prove who the father is when there's doubt. The field of medical research can also learn a lot from genetic analysis. Molecular genealogy, in particular, tries to figure out how inheritance patterns have changed the way different organisms work over millions of years. These changes are compelled by changes in the DNA of the microorganisms. In criminology and law enforcement, genetic genealogy has even helped solve cold cases. DNA specimens from crime scenes can be uploaded to genetic databases to find relatives of unknown suspects. This narrows the search. After this is done, the matches can be used with traditional genealogy methods to build family trees until the most likely suspect is found. In some cases, all it takes to solve a case going on for decades is for a distant relative of the suspect to post their DNA results on a genealogy site. There are many examples of how genetic genealogy has helped people. Dr. Ann Turner, for example, is an advocate for genealogy and a teacher. She's used genetic testing to learn about her family history and medical genetics. She's published research that has broken through brick walls in her family tree. Her ongoing genealogy research helped scientists find genes involved in hearing loss, which has been a problem in her family for hundreds of years without a known cause. Her own research goes back several hundred years. She's asked many family members for DNA samples that have helped them find common ancestors who lived hundreds of years ago. Cece Moore and Debbie Parker Wayne are two other genetic genealogists who have made significant contributions. How does genetic genealogy work? When your DNA is tested for genealogy, the goal of the test is to find other samples that are genetically similar to you. These similarities can be used to figure out who the person is likely to be related to and where this person's DNA came from. Genetic ancestry testing aims to find out your haplotype, which is made up of alleles that you get from one parent. Haplogroups are people with the same ancestors, which can be seen by looking for certain DNA variations. Together, haplotypes form the same haplogroup. A MAP unit, MU, or a centimorgan, CM, is the unit used to measure how closely genes are linked. You can use a centimorgan chart or a relationship calculator to find out how you're related to someone through a common ancestor. It's thought that about 30 million people will have had their DNA tested to find out where they came from. As these tests become more common and more people take them, the genetic databases used to match family members will get bigger, and we will be able to find family relationships that include more people. Why do genetic genealogy testing? Overall, all types of genealogy DNA tests look for similarities between your DNA and the DNA in genetic databases to figure out who you might be related to. But these tests have different purposes depending on the types of DNA they look at. 
You might be thinking, I thought we all had the same DNA. So yes, depending on the kind of genetic testing you do, you can learn about different parts of your family tree. There are different kinds of DNA testing for family history, such as Y-chromosome testing, also called Y-DNA testing, looks at your male lineage to find out where you came from. It can test for single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, or short tandem repeats, STR. These are possible differences in your DNA that can be matched to other people's genetic data. Since women don't have a Y chromosome, Y DNA testing can only be done on men. However, women who want to take this type of test can ask male relatives to help them. Mitochondrial DNA testing looks at MT DNA, which comes from the mother and is passed on to the child. With this kind of DNA test, people can find out about their ancestry through their direct female line. Everyone has mitochondria, no matter what gender they are, so anyone can use MT DNA testing. Mutations in mtDNA don't happen very often, so a perfect mtDNA match could be related to you from anywhere between 1 and 50 generations ago. We're all related to a woman we don't know the name of, but now call mitochondrial Eve. She probably lived in Africa about 150,000 years ago. mtDNA and yDNA have been used to look at the DNA of bones found in archaeological sites and old migration routes. On the other hand, autosomal DNA AT DNA testing looks at all of your DNA except for your yDNA and mitochondrial DNA. When this kind of testing is done, the number of people who share the same ancestry can be much higher. This type of testing is a good way to figure out your biogeographic ancestry. The SNPs found in your results are then compared to the distribution of SNPs and DNA samples from different places. How accurate are DNA tests for genealogy? It depends, is the answer. The tests themselves are very accurate, but the accuracy of your own results can be affected by other things. As we've already said, genealogy genetic testing works by comparing DNA samples to existing genetic databases. Depending on which testing company you use, your estimates of your ethnicity could be different. Different testing companies can have different databases or use different matching algorithms. It's also significant to remember that the depth of the reference database used by the company will have a big impact on how reliable results will be. It is also significant to remember that the depth of the reference database used by the company will have a big impact on how reliable your results will be. It can be hard for people who are part of a small ethnic group with fewer genetic differences in their DNA to figure out their exact family tree. Some ethnicities are also easier to figure out because reference databases have more information about them. For example, most databases have a lot more samples with Caucasian DNA than with Native American DNA. This makes it harder to compare samples with Native American DNA in databases. With just a swab of the cheek, DNA tests can give clues to help with traditional genealogical research, find out ethnic and geographical origins, and find out if everyone in the family has the same ancestors. In this way, genetic genealogy gives people who are interested in their family history the chance to bust through brick walls, unite with living relatives all over the world, and confirm or deny connections between families that they may have thought existed. Have a good test! That's it on what is genetic genealogy. Let us know your observations and thoughts in the comment section below. If this video was insightful for you, then go on and like the video. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button for more of our updates.